Hi guys, welcome. I am about to attempt something that I never thought I would and it has probably about a 5% chance, if I'm lucky, of actually working. I'd like to welcome you to my backyard, Kentucky Homestead. My name is Kim and let me show you what I'm doing. Alright, so I have a bunch of potatoes that have sprouted and are not usable. These are potatoes I grew this summer and I'm going to try to plant them. I did this in January. And it worked really well, but it is the first weekend of November right now. So I'm hoping with the warm weather, we're supposed to have a very warm fall. So with the row covers that I'm building in the process of building, I got to figure out how to get the bow out of that. But between the two, I'm hoping I might be actually be able to grow these. So let me show you what we need to do to plant potatoes. So the first thing we need to do is go ahead and amend the soil. And for that, I'm going to be using three items. I'm going to be using soil acidifier, all balanced fertilizer like holotone, and bone meal. The bone meal works very well with helping with root development. The soil acidifier helps to prevent scab, and the fertilizer gives it general nutrition. Okay, so I'm just going to scratch this in. Before I plant the potatoes, I'm going to go ahead and finish planting my garlic. This is elephant garlic, which is technically leek. Um, but we're going to plant, uh, put this in about six inches down, probably about eight inches in between each one. These aren't usable anymore, so I figure I've lost nothing. At worst, they'll rot and put more nourishment into the soil. But I'm going to go ahead and plant them about a foot apart. And the red norlin are one of the faster growing potatoes, so it's possible I could get, could get a uh, harvest off of this. We'll see. And what I'm going to do is choose the bigger potatoes that have the bigger eyes on them. And then the rest, unfortunately, we'll just have to go to recycle. For the heck of it, I'm going to go ahead and throw in some of the Yukon Gold over on that first row. Like I said, it's going to go to the trash anyway. So I've lost nothing if they don't actually grow. So go ahead and dig down. Like I said, I did this in January. Of course, it was too cold for them to grow at that point. And in March, they just started growing. It was wonderful. So I don't know if these will do the same thing or if we're having such a warm winter that they'll just probably will start growing and it'll probably all fizzle. But we'll see. And I will keep you updated one way or the other. So for all my other beds that I'm setting up for fall, I'm adding alfalfa pellets to add nit nitrogen. But I don't want to do that for this one because I'm expecting it to grow now. And I really needed to focus on the uh, phosphate. So we just, we did the polytone, we did the bone meal, soil acidifier. And now I'm going to just cover it with some straw and see what happens. Thank you. 
So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this watered in. If you want to know more about planting garlic, check out this video. And if you want to know more about potatoes, check out this video. Till next time, I hope you have a wonderful day and bye.